A cordial greeting. Today is Saturday, June 17, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. At the time of recording this video, it is 6.30 p.m. local time in the Caribbean and the eastern United States. In today's video, I will provide an update on the forecast for what is now in Vest 92, which is associated with a strong tropical wave located southwest of the Cape Verde Islands. This system has a high probability of becoming tropical depression number 3 of the season as it moves west-northwest towards the Caribbean region. We have been monitoring this tropical wave for several days, and today we finally began to see the system becoming more organized. We are observing an increase in thunderstorm activity and precipitation along the axis of this tropical wave. It seems that this system is finally starting to organize at a faster pace. Therefore, it is possible that in the next 2 to 3 days, we will finally have a tropical depression. As we will discuss in this video, it is crucial to monitor how quickly this disturbance strengthens or organizes, as it will have significant long-term effects and determine whether it approaches or moves away from the Caribbean region. At 2 p.m., the National Hurricane Center increased the development probabilities to 50% over the next 48 hours and maintains a 70% chance of development over the next 7 days. Based on satellite imagery and strong support from global models for the development of this tropical disturbance, I suspect that at 8 p.m., the National Hurricane Center will once again increase the development probabilities. By Tuesday or Wednesday, we should have Tropical Depression No. 3 or Tropical Storm bred in the tropical Atlantic. As we zoom in on the visible satellite imagery, we can clearly see the rotation associated with this tropical wave and how it has become more defined in the past few hours. This disturbance is undergoing cyclogenesis, and we will likely see a significant increase in thunderstorm activity near the developing center during tonight. One of the factors aiding this cyclogenesis is that the tropical wave is currently moving just north of an area with very warm waters exceeding 29 degrees Celsius. These warm waters are injecting moisture into the wave axis, promoting thunderstorm formation and pressure lowering in this area. We can also observe this effect in the water vapor animation, where the blue and violet colors represent moist air moving towards the wave axis. In fact, the models forecast that over the next few days, at least until next Thursday or Friday, the relative humidity along the path of Invest 92 will remain above 60%, which is quite high and should aid in its strengthening as it approaches the Caribbean. Additionally, surface temperatures of the ocean will remain between 29 to 30 degrees Celsius, providing ample energy for further strengthening and development. Furthermore, the wind shear will remain between 10 to 5 knots at least until next Thursday when it is located just east of the Lesser Antilles. These three conditions indicate a forecast of gradual or even rapid strengthening over the next few days. According to the intensity models, you can see that the majority of them have tropical storm Brett forming within about 36 hours. By Tuesday or Wednesday, some of them even strengthen it into a Category 1 hurricane. Then, they forecast a gradual strengthening between Thursday and Friday, possibly reaching Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane. However, we also have other models that predict a more gradual strengthening, keeping it as a tropical storm as it approaches the Caribbean. This discrepancy in intensity between the models is also reflected in the forecasted track. Stronger disturbances, such as a Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane, may favor a northwestward trajectory, moving away from the Caribbean region. However, if it maintains the intensity indicated by some other models, including the European models, it may have a slightly more westward track, approaching or passing over the northeastern Caribbean region. This is why it is important for residents of the northeastern Caribbean, including the northern Lesser Antilles, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic, to remain vigilant and closely monitor the forecast over the next few days. It's also worth noting that at least until Wednesday, there is good consensus among the models regarding the track forecast. However, from Wednesday to Thursday, there is a large dispersion of possibilities, ranging from a more northwestward trajectory away from the Caribbean to others that bring the disturbance closer to the northeastern Caribbean. As typical in these forecasts, uncertainty increases after five days. Let's now analyze the best global models we have. Let's start with the European model. Notice how the European model gradually develops this system. However, it is not until Monday or Tuesday that it finally develops a tropical depression. It's important to note that the European model takes approximately 48 to 72 hours before developing a cyclone associated with Invest 92. When compared to other models, this cyclogenesis takes longer in the European model and has significant long-term effects on its track. From Monday onwards, it continues to strengthen what will possibly become Tropical Storm Brett. By Thursday, it has a moderate tropical storm approaching the Eastern Caribbean, maintaining a mostly west-northwest trajectory until it reaches the waters of the Caribbean between Friday night and Saturday morning. 
Once it reaches the Caribbean, the model weakens it rapidly because it would be moving over the region known as the Graveyard of Hurricanes, where cyclones typically struggle to strengthen and maintain themselves as tropical cyclones. Now let's look at the forecast from the American model. You can see that compared to the European model, the American model develops a tropical depression much faster. In fact, as early as tomorrow afternoon, Sunday, it has tropical depression number 3. Then, on Sunday night or early Monday morning, it develops into tropical storm breath. From Monday to Wednesday, it maintains a trajectory mostly west-northwest. However, on Thursday, there is a significant difference compared to the European model. The American model continues to strengthen this system into a Category 2 or Category 3 hurricane. This would result in a trajectory with a more northerly component, keeping this cyclone far away from the Caribbean islands, posing no threat. As you can see, there is a significant discrepancy between the GFS model and the European model. These are definitely two very different forecasts that we will be observing over the next few days, especially starting from Wednesday. We will also closely monitor how quickly it strengthens and becomes tropical depression number 3 to determine which of the two models has a better forecast regarding the cyclogenesis of Invest 92. I also want you to see that according to the forecast from the GFS model, by Friday afternoon, we will have a Category 2 hurricane, possibly nearing Category 3. Meanwhile, the European model's forecast for the same date only shows a tropical storm moving towards the Caribbean. Once again, compare the significant difference between these two forecasts. Remember that both the European and GFS models are very good at forecasting. We will have to wait, in my opinion, at least 48 hours to see which of the two models has a better outlook. Personally, based on what I'm seeing in the infrared satellite animation, I lean towards the American model or GFS having a better forecast at the moment. However, we will see what happens, especially between Tuesday and Thursday. Among the other good models we consider, the UK model shows a weakened system, keeping it as a tropical wave as it moves over the northeastern Caribbean. Due to its weakness, it maintains a west-northwest trajectory. We also have the German model, which shows a very weakened system, possibly a tropical depression or tropical storm, approaching the Lesser Antilles between Thursday and Friday. Like the European model, being a weaker system, it would maintain a more westward trajectory. At least the good news for the Caribbean region is that everything seems to indicate that the only way this future cyclone would reach our region is as a weak tropical storm or a moderate tropical storm. At the moment, it is unlikely that a hurricane will pass through our region. However, we must remain vigilant for any changes in the forecast. Remember that this is a long-term forecast, and there is a large margin of error after 5 days. Something else I would like to mention is that some models also show a second tropical wave that appears to be strong and moving towards the Caribbean. However, it is too early to talk about this disturbance, and we will address it when the time comes. Lastly, I wanted to show you the ensemble tracks from the European model, where some of them develop a Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane. Notice how in those yellow, orange, and red colors, the members that keep this cyclone strong pass it far away from the Caribbean region. However, the members that maintain it as a weak or moderate tropical storm move it over the waters of the Caribbean, affecting the islands in the northeastern Caribbean. You can clearly see the two possible scenarios we have at the moment. In terms of probabilities, I would say there's a 60% chance of scenario number 1, in which it would pass northeast of the Caribbean, and a 40% chance of scenario number 2, with a trajectory over the northeastern Caribbean region. There is a significant uncertainty that remains in the forecast at the moment, which can also be seen in the ensemble tracks from the GFS model, showing a large dispersion of different possible trajectories. I repeat, there is a lot of uncertainty, especially until next Wednesday, and everything seems to depend on how strongly the future tropical storm Brett develops. At the moment, we can be calm but vigilant, especially over the next 48 hours, to see if we finally have tropical depression number 3. Here at Hurricane Info, I will be attentive and keep you informed. If you're interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel, go to the bottom of the video, click on the red button that says subscribe, and then click on the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new videos. Until tomorrow when I record a new video for you in the afternoon to update any changes in this forecast, goodbye, and have a great night.